What's good y'all, it's just for kicks two and two here and I'm here with my very first tech closet. What I'm gonna be doing in tech closet is pretty much explaining all the materials and technologies that go into certain shoes. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've been getting a lot of hit ups on Twitter. Add me on Twitter at just for kicks two and two. And uh, pretty much I've been getting a lot of hit ups on Twitter about uh, like what certain things are I talk about in the review. For example, uh, somebody asked me what TPU is, another person me asked uh, what's the benefit of Flywire or what's the benefit of Lunar Lawn. I've been getting a lot of questions like that. And pretty much I just want to explain it to you so you understand as a player, casual wearer, or just collector, what, what this shoe could do for you. I'm trying to give you a competitive advantage, one-on-one -on -one kind of talk through that when you go into like a foot locker and you're like, hey, what does this shoe do? Uh, they don't be like, yo, it's just colorful. You'll know like, oh, this shoe is better for me when I cut across the court, or this shoe is better for me because I'm going to be standing all day, or this shoe is going to be better for me if I keep it in the closet because uh, it won't yellow, you know what I mean? So um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over uh, Zoom Air. It is a Nike technology. The reason why I'm starting off with Zoom Air in my tech closet is because all the shoes I have reviewed have been Zoom Air. You might have heard of it, you might know what it does, but uh, I'm gonna get really in depth with it. Let's, let's get right into it. So I have a bunch of notes I've compiled together, all the stuff I've written down, relay the message a bit easier, okay? So I'm gonna be reading from my notes. This is Zoom Air. Uh, what is Zoom Air cushioning? Zoom Air cushioning is a Nike Air cushioning system that uses 3D fabric within a Nike Air unit for sleek, low profile cushioning. It is responsive cushioning. It is incredibly resilient. Zoom Air cushioning is created by using tensile fibers within a pressurized bladder. The combination of tensile fibers and increased air pressure allow for quick responsive cushioning at impact and high energy return. It is the only Nike Air unit with tensile fibers in it. Tensile fibers are stretched within a pressurized bladder. Air pressure within the bladder increases the tension of these fibers. Fibers pull on the walls of the bladder as tension increases, allowing for increased air pressure within the Zoom Air unit while also working to maintain a flat, sleek, low profile. The flat, sleek, and low profile Zoom Air unit cushioning provides low to the ground cushioning for enhanced stability. Obviously, when you're closer to the floor, you have that better feel to the floor and uh, less lever arm. I'll get into that in another uh, uh, tech closet lever arm. The low profile allows for resilient, responsive cushioning without adding height to the midsole. Again, it's keeping you a lot lower than uh, like an Air Max or some other um, Nike technologies. The way they do this is they cut out uh, sections of the midsole, like for example the Phylon. They'll cut out a section and they'll actually place the zoom unit in it. Oh, before I continue going, um, I don't want you to get mad at me saying, because me preferably, I think zoom is the best Nike technology that they have available. Some people might disagree, say Air Max is, maybe because you're the bigger guy, or some people might like Air because it's not as, uh, you don't feel it as much. I mean, I, I don't know what you like. Me, preferably, is Zoom Air. So I'm not saying it's better than anything you like, and I'm not saying it's worse. So uh, to, before I get into anything, Zoom Air cushioning is, is only one of Nike's cushioning systems. It's all about preference at the end of the day. I might like soft beds, you might like hard beds. You feel me? It's like that. Each Nike cushioning system has a specific purpose and performance benefit. So again, it's all about preference. So whatever you like, don't get mad at me. It was, uh, it was debuted in uh, 1990, 1995. It was debuted with Kohan, a company that Nike owns, in 1991. Um, it was called Tensile Air. Back then, it was really popular in uh, the Kohan section. The reason why they didn't put it into Nike immediately is because for athletic purposes, uh, the players were pulverizing the, uh, the Zoom unit and it was unraveling in the unit. So they didn't actually uh, get it like down packed yet. So they were able to put it in like uh, some dressy shoes, pumps, stuff like that. Stuff that rep people just walking back and forth where you won't like damage the uh, zoom unit. Uh, so back then it was called Tensile Fiber. And, and a funny story about Kohan that Nike actually still talks about to this day on campus is that uh, back in 91 when it first debuted in some pumps for women and, men, and uh, some shoes for men, uh, some lady down in Miami, she bought a pair and uh, pretty much uh, they were $300. $300 in 91. She bought a pair of $300 pumps and they had tensile fiber in the forefoot. Obviously you're on, you're on heels and all your pressure is going to your forefoot. So she wore it for one day, she came back the next day and praised the fucking shoe. Like she was, it's the best shoe I've ever put on, whatever the situation is, yada, yada, yada. Uh, at the end of the day, she left out of there with like 18 pairs. 18 pairs in different colors. So she bought every single colorway. There was like 18 uh, colors. So imagine, $300 and she bought 18 pairs. That's how great Zoom Air was back then. You can imagine back then they didn't have that many technologies to actually provide all that cushioning for your foot. So it was something new and, it, and that's a great story they still pass around in Nike. They're all about their heritage. So let me get back to Zoom Air uh, with Nike. The Zoom Air cushioning is a flat, thin unit that provides responsive, resilient, and low-profile cushioning. 
Uh, tensile fibers within the Nike Zoom pressurized unit react to the impact forces from the ground up, increasing your awareness of the ground you are running on or playing on. Nike Zoom cushioning is offered in heel, forefoot, and full length shapes and is created in multiple shapes, sizes, and thicknesses to meet the varying needs of athletes across a wide range of sports, including running, soccer, basketball, training, tennis, dance, baseball, and football. Nike Zoom cushioning is the ultimate in low-profile impact protection and responsive cushioning. The combination of tensile fibers within a pressurized bladder allow for responsive, resilient cushioning, low-profile cushioning, enhanced stability increased, and ground field. It is, in fact, the highest energy return Nike technology. So uh, if you give 100% on the floor, like you're pushing off as hard as you can, you're giving 100%, that Zoom unit is giving you back at least 90%, 90 to 95% of your energy that you put into the unit. Um, this is great for toe off, like on basketball courts and stuff like that, or like uh, soccer stuff when you when you when you need those quick toe offs. Zoom Air cushioning is a flat thin unit that provides firm, super responsive cushioning for top speeds and off the mark movements. Again, basketball, soccer, uh, you know what I mean? It's just it's kind of things like that. I have over here the benefits of uh, top and bottom loaded. What top and bottom loaded Zoom is is uh, for example, uh, they can put the zoom unit above the phylon, which they usually do, the midsole, or they can put it underneath. Uh, a shoe that they put underneath was, uh, for example, the Jordan 2010. If you actually look at the bottom, you'll actually see a full-length zoom unit underneath. Uh, so pretty much it's all about preference for you. So I'll give you the, the uh, top-loaded versus bottom-loaded pros and cons. So for top-loaded, the pro is a uh, zoom air unit is closer to the foot, uh, easier to feel, and making it more responsive. So if you don't mind feeling something in your insole kind of thing, like you feel in the bump, then that'll be for you if you like that more responsive feel. Uh, bottom loaded um, pro is uh, Zoom Air unit is covered by a layer of phylon material for, so pretty much covered by the midsole for a smooth footbed. So you don't feel anything in your footbed. Uh, so what this does is it makes it softer and more cushy feel underfoot. So if you like that cushy feel, you want the more comfort wise, it's gonna be bottom loaded. If you want something more responsive, uh, you're gonna want it top loaded. And that's pretty much what I got for Zoom. They have something called Cage Zoom Air 2003. Uh, it was, uh, they debuted it. Zoom Air, a performance benefit for Zoom Air is Nike's most visible Zoom Air system, which provides a low profile responsive cushioning system. Um, what does it look like? Uh, visible Zoom Air has fabric attached to the inside, holding the top and bottom urethane sheets together. It is sealed with a horizontal seam that is visible on the side profile of the shoe and is protected by a TPU cage. So the TPU cage is called a PBAX cage or a PBAX shell, either one. Visible cage zoom air is pretty much the biggest zoom units get. The reason why is because it's fully across the foot and it's a full bag. So it's as big as it gets. Uh, zoom air, the biggest they get is 13 millimeters. That's the biggest zoom air units get. They don't really do it that often. So that's pretty much all I got for, uh, for um, visible cage zoom air. Um, if you have any other questions, you just hit me up. Uh, leave them down in the comment box. This is my uh, this is my first tech closet on Zoom Air. Um, hopefully, hopefully you learned something. And um, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, love, hate, whatever you got, just leave it down in the box. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe if you want to learn something. Uh, if you're on a team, have your team watch this so they know the benefits if, it, if it's working for them. And uh, thank you for watching. Just for kicks, two and two here. Uh, shout out to Zaya X. Thank you for the shout out on your page. I appreciate it. Zaya X uh, 0712. Make sure you check him out. Um, he has a bunch of reviews. He does a lot of pickups and he shows what he got material wise. He has a bunch of heat. A bunch of heat. You want to see some new shit with like a, with a twist? He'll give you his personality. It's a cool dude. Make sure you follow. Make sure you follow him on Twitter too at ZayaX0712. Same thing on uh, YouTube, ZayaX0712. Uh, and uh, good looking for everything. Thank you for checking me out. Good looking.